everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today I'm going to show you how to put this uh, gear on for the vertical shaft. Vertical shaft gear. Okay. We got to pull the cover off. We got to pull the tiller handle off. It has the twist throttle on it. Because remember, we just made that one work just until this came in. So we're going to put this one on here the way it's supposed to be. This is the new one, so hang tight. Let's get the cover off and let's check this out. Okay guys, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take the cover off. Maybe. There it is. Couldn't find it. Okay, so we've got the cover off. Now our issue, I'll probably have to put you down a little bit on the tripods. Because if you guys remember, Damn it. This one was broke. We just kind of rigged it up and made it work. So, and it was this piece here that adjusts the, uh, adjusts the idle. It was missing. So we're going to take this off of here, and we're going to put this on. And we're going to, I'm going to use some white lithium grease on it. We're going to put it back together. The first thing we got to do is we got to pull the tiller handle off, which is right here. And how I'm going to do that. There's a standard screw right there. I do have the piece for this, this piece here. I just gotta put it back on it. I wanna get this cleaned up. So, I'm gonna take this off again. I also wanna check something out on here. that off also I found this is the thermostat this little tiny guy right here okay now I don't know if they took it out because it was running hot and they thought it was this or not so I'm gonna have to take the thermostat housing cover off probably check and see if it's got one in it that's disturbing to me I don't know about anybody else but okay now there's two screws up here we have to take out Right here and right here. Um, let's go ahead and take them out. I'm not sure if I gotta take the grip off or not. Sounds like we got a piece of equipment coming down the road. Early in the morning too, guys. Cause I wanna beat the rain. It's supposed to rain again today. All right, they're mowing. All right, I'll kick you back on here in a second, guys. Hang tight. Okay, sorry about that. I got that other screw out here. There's just one on top, one on bottom, just on one side there. I'm just going to see if I can... Now, let's go ahead and pull this handle off. This thing's kind of tricky to get back on once you get it out of there because it's got a spring in there with it's got pressure on it I 
like that. Uh, this hole right here, this hole right here, that's where this goes in, that's what turns that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take this off. Lay that in there. There's a brass washer there. Try not to lose that. I just flip it up. Kind of turn that to the side. There's supposed to be a brass washer here, and I thought I had one on it, but it may be it may be missing. I don't see it. Yeah, I do. There it is. Just a brass washer, and it's cracked. They're paper thin. Okay. Now this thing. Just like it's just a cover, but uh, as you can see, it's broke there. So I doubt if I'll put that back on because it's broke. Now down here, we have a screw we need to take off. Right here, okay. So let me let me get you set down here a little bit so you can see it better. Okay guys, now what this does, this comes out here on the end, okay? Out here there's a, a little gear in there. And we have to pull that out a little bit. But we have to, if you guys are doing this in the water, be real careful, okay? So what we're going to have to do, we got to get this up out of here. So we have to take this screw out. Don't lose that one. Now we're going to pull this rod out of the other end here. Let me back you out a little bit. Yeah. And I'm going to hold this so it don't fall and break. Just like that. That's how that comes out. This is that little rod. Okay. I'm going to clean that up. That's real sticky. So I'm going to clean that up. So we can get a nice twist throttle on there. Okay, now up here on top, I don't know how close I can get you in here. I'll do the best I can for you. There's a there's a real weird clip on here. Right here, okay? And you don't want to lose this. This is stainless steel that holds your timing and your throttle on there um, trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time without losing my clip okay see there's the clip so all that does is cover that because this now pops off of there okay just like that all right now what we're going to do we're going to take these two screws out which i've already had out but i didn't show you guys how to do it don't lose any of this stuff guys You got these two pieces, don't lose these. Because they act kind of like, well, they're kind of like a bushing, really. See? They're brass. Oh, yeah. Alright. I got those out. Now, down here, 
I'm just gonna pull this straight up out, but I'll show you what's going on down below. See right there? These are called dogs. Just lift that right up out of there just like that, okay? Now sometimes these will break off. Okay? They're just, uh, just a plastic. I think they used to be brass, but anyway, you don't want to break them ears off of there. Now this should just pull right up out of there now. Remember, we stuck that bolt in there. All right. Just like that. Remember, we had to make that work. All right. Now, I'm going to go clean all this stuff off while this guy's mowing. And I'm going to clean the rod off there and get it greased up. And we'll put it back in. I'll show you how to hook all that back up. Okay, guys. Now, the next step, hopefully, you can see and hear. See, we've got to pull some of these bolts out of here. We've got to move this piece of plastic here because see this is not going to want to go down in see no matter how you put it um, I don't want to cut that off of there so which would probably be okay but I'm not going to do that so I'm going to try to take there's four bolts on here that I can see that may give me enough room so I'm going to take these bolts out. There's uh, two on each side, maybe give me enough room. So let me get them bolts out and we're going to go from there and we'll move on to the next step. Okay guys, what I did was I just loosened the two bolts on this side and what I want to do, I'm going to start this up in there like that. Then I'm just going to lift up on it. There. And that feels awful tight. It's like a plastic bushing down in there. So I'm gonna try to get that plastic bushing out of there. I'm gonna try to get this plastic bushing out of here without hurting it. And see what we can do with that. I may have to sand this off just a little bit. I don't like how tight it is because I want this stuff to be free. So let me see what I'm gonna do with that. The bushing looks pretty good though. I am going to run a little bit of sandpaper on here. Get this coating off of here. And we'll shoot some lithium grease in there and see how that does for us. Okay guys, so I sanded this off uh, about five minutes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of this lithium grease, spray in there, a little bit on here. Now what this is, this is where you can shoot your lubricant up through. There's another hole right there where it comes out of. Okay, so let's go ahead, put this in there and see if we got it. Yeah, look at that. Nice and free. Okay, so now let's go ahead. We're going to put our, our idle screw in. Okay. All right. Now, let's get this thing put back together. The, uh, the tiller handle, let's get it put back together, greased up, and we should be ready to go. Okay guys, now we're going to put this back in. Again, I'm going to use a little bit of a little bit of grease here. Alright, now we're just going to put this down underneath here is another hole. Make sure you clean it out. That's to spur your lubricant up in whenever you do your servicing. Okay. 
There, now that should spin free, and it does, nice and free. Also, right here, I just took a piece of sandpaper, wherever I put it, and I sanded this off on both sides, made it nice and smooth. And that's for our handle. You know, just some sandpaper, emery cloth. Get all that gunk off of there. Wipe it off nice and neat. I use this to clean it, just some WD-40. Clean that up there a little bit. We got our got our little washers. I think I'm going to order a couple of these. And um, they're very thin. They're paper thin. So, all right. So what we're going to do now? gonna pull this back out just a little bit let me get you over here I can't see it's so bright can't see what you guys are looking at so right can you see that rod now there's a flat spot on this and there's a flat spot on that so that's what you're going to want to line up once you get this lined up. Always put them right, right to that last cog on there. Then I'm going to take my rod and I'm going to slide it in here and just spin it until it drops in. You can feel it drop in. Okay, so now let's turn that. Nice. Okay, now let's stick our bolt back in here, or our screw. And then that part's done. Then we'll come up here and we'll do the handle. Yeah, that's moving nice and free now, guys. Yeah, cool. I couldn't do that before lack of maintenance um, I think this has always been a Florida boat so for the past almost 52 years I am sure this thing has been in salt water a couple times and I'm very sure we're going to have it in some salt water now remember it's just it's just a small vessel it's not a gigantic boat but we don't want a big boat because we want to be able to get back in them coves, okay? So, what we're going to do now, if I can get you set up here, is I'm going to put this, get you over here, because I'm going to have to stand there. All right? Now, we're going to, I've got this all cleaned up. You know, it's, it's decent. Let me get your screen flipped around here where I can see what's going on. All right? Got it cleaned up nice and neat. And uh, there's another oil hole for your lubricant. Just stick your little straw up in there. I'm not sure. I think you can put a grease gun on there and grease them. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Which is probably what I will end up doing. So, first thing, let's get our flat washer on there. Just like that. Right. Now there's a certain way. See this? You can't you can't mess it up. There's a where the hell? See that flat spot there, and that little one, and that little cog there. It matches over here on this one. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is just line them up. Get it close. Put your uh, your handles. Get it started in there, just like that. And I should, yeah. And I'm just turning that with my fingers. So, and that'll come back if need be. 
All right, that spring is just to keep that tight, okay? Now I'm gonna spray some white lubricant on there. All right, now here's the other one for the other side. I'm gonna stick that on there. And we're just gonna, this one's real easy, it just goes on. Now we're gonna put our screws back in there. Hope you guys seen that. I can't see what's going on on the screen because the sun's behind me. Okay, so we're gonna put this screw back in, where, right there, and these two right here, okay? And then I'm gonna kinda lubricate this handle a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna spray some down inside there. Now this is gonna need to be all cleaned off. And I'm going to spray some stuff down inside there. It looks like it may be cracked, but I don't think it's missing anything. So, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these in there. And then I'll show you how to hook that top pin on up there. Okay, now we're going to put this down in here. There's only, I mean, you know, self-explanatory. Okay, so just put a little bit of lube. Whoops. Just a little bit there. All this does, this just slides down into that to that little deal there. Them dogs slide in to those slots right down here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me show you. Okay, there's little slots there. See the slots? Right there. That's all they do. Just slides down in there. Okay, now I'm going to bring you up here. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put these on. Remember this one goes on the outside and this one goes on the inside. You can usually tell by the paint monkey's back putting a trailer hitch on the truck today so just shoot a little bit there. Put this one behind it. Make sure it's in that notch like that. Put that in front of it. And start your screws. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and tighten these up. And once you tighten something, Twist that throttle, make sure nothing bound up. That way you'll know, because if you just go ahead and throw it all together and it's bound up, you won't know exactly where it happened. I know it wasn't bound up before, so like, it's fine now. So if I, if I put them on and it bound up, then I would know the issue was right there, okay? So now, now this top part, it's just gonna go in there just like that. That's how it goes. Now this is just going to go up underneath or down over, it doesn't matter. But just make sure you get this clipped on there and that's what holds your, your linkage for your timing and your throttle, okay? Just like that. Perfect. Perfect, all right. Now, I don't know why it goes there and then it'll go a little bit more to open it up some more, but the throttle's still not wide open. So, I may have to adjust this down here again, right there, right here. 
just depends on where it's going to be idling at see right there it's on shift which is slow so yeah it's working good all right yeah seems to be fine now okay so that's how we do that okay this is in uh, everything's tight everything looks good I just gotta clean the shift hand or the handle grip up whoops and that should be good to go so there you go guys okay guys so that's pretty much it in a nutshell pretty simple uh, I am going to hold on to this however and put it in our boating box you never know right I mean these things break um, they're not that common, but they do break. So, yeah, that's what, you know, I will hold on to that. That way, if I'm out somewhere and it breaks, I got this already made up, ready to go. It can get us in. Plus, we have the uh, trolling motor. It's a 55-pound thrust. So, stay tuned for the next video. We're going to pull the bumper back off the truck. We got to do that because we're putting a hitch on it. It's a Kurt hitch. I've done hundreds of these. I won't need this, but you guys might. So, you just pull the bumper on. You put this on, then put your bolts back in. It's real simple. You'll see. You'll see how I do it. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, guys. I'm gonna say thanks for watching. But that's how you put that. Uh, I think it's called a a vertical. <laughs> never mind maybe I'll put it across the screen here uh, I forget what it's called a vertical vertical shaft gear something like that but that's that's how you do that if it breaks uh, that was pretty easy to get they're all over they're just some's more than others I got that one for 30 bucks but they're fairly easy to get so that must and it's they're brand new so they're still making them that's 1963 motor so, you know, it must be pretty common. They must get seized up a lot. Just keep your stuff lubed up. Um, I was going to go ahead and get that plastic bushing, but the bushing looked fine, so I didn't get it. Um, I just had to sand some of that coating off of that aluminum. But if you keep it, you keep it lubed up, it'll be fine. Um, I did start it up, rev it up. Works like a new one, so that's what I was looking for. So we're one step closer. This is going to be another step closer. I think tomorrow we're going to go ahead and get the, the title and everything switched over and get our tags on the trailer and our numbers for the boat. And then I got to get a, which I think I'm going to get it Friday. She's going to pass the trailer place where I used to work. I'll give her one of them hubs, take it in, have her tell my, my buddy Johnny, say, hey, need one of these. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. That's how you do it. In a nutshell, it's pretty simple. If you could see anything at all, I don't know if you could because I couldn't see the screen because the sun was kind of behind me. Uh, I don't even know what time it is right now. But So anyway, guys, Shea Bird and Myth, the Man of Legend, gone for now. You can do this if, if you're any kind of mechanically inclined. You can do it. We'll see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your week. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Be safe.